Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Hollywood Studios for the first time in 2024. I am so excited for the upcoming year because I love this park and we have so many cool things to look forward to that I decided to come on out and talk about some of the things that I'm most excited about and uh, ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Hollywood Studios kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I looked at the wait times and they're all pretty high so it's gonna be a busy day and I'm thinking about getting Genie Plus uh, but the weather is so amazing out it's so sunny out and the temperatures in the 40s but look at this look at that view right there my body doesn't understand because it feels the heat from the Sun but yet it's still cold I'm lucky I'm actually wearing my Star Wars uh, Roosevelt hoodie. This is one of the new ones that just came out. But like I said, it's a chilly day and this is kind of perfect. Kind of blends in. Star Wars hoodie inside uh, Hollywood Studios. I love it and I love this one. Now, Soka, this one is like, I just, you, you wouldn't know it's Star Wars unless I just told you, unless you're a Star Wars fan. Like, it just blends in so beautiful. Here is a look at the wait times today. Like I said, it's definitely busy. Mickey and Minnie's Runner Ride Railway, 75 minutes. Slinky Dog Dash, 130 minutes. Star Tours is a 35 minute wait. And even Smuggler's Run and Rise of the Resistance have an 85 minute wait. So we're gonna see what we can do with that Genie Plus. I was gonna make a video like basically doing a lot of great stuff and using Genie Plus but today's just really not a good day for it so it kind of might just be a, let's see how the day goes kind of video because I don't know what I can do like the crowds are big but like I said I'm still happy to be here but with rock and roller coaster being down extra I think people in the parks because it's cold weather and everyone wants to get all bundled up and go hang out at Disney I, I, I think adding that all together basically means there's no lightning lanes available like none I've been refreshing and checking all day so uh, ride or not we're just gonna have a Hollywood Studios kind of day that was very fancy <laughs> That being said, it still looks like it's just a very busy day in the park today. So I'm still gonna buy Genie Plus because honestly, I don't wanna get tangled up in the lines for long, you know? Like when I come to the parks, I don't mind waiting like, you know, long periods of time. But uh, when I only have a short amount of time, it's hard to get a lot in that you wanna get done, you know what I mean? So every once in a while, I kinda give in and, you know, to get the lightning lane. Here are the prices for Genie Plus today. Now these prices change depending on how busy the park is or if it's a holiday. And just for today at Hollywood Studios, it's $22. But I could buy the multiple parks one for just $3 more in case I want to park hop. So I might do that, you know what I mean? Because you never know. Unfortunately, I think I might have been duped. All of the lightning lanes that are available aren't until several hours later. And there's not even one available for Slinky Dog Dash. But if I wanted to ride the Tower of Terror with my lightning lane, I either wait 55 minutes or wait four hours from now. Same thing with Toy Story Mania, except for that seven hours. Now these are gonna actually change. You just have to keep on refreshing the page and you have to get lucky to see if you can catch one. You know what I mean? That actually is there. See, it moved up a little bit, 510. Actually, it went down more. Oh, right there, four o'clock, see? Well, that's funny. Dang it, what the heck? <laughs> what? Did you guys just see that? I picked for four o'clock and now it says 515. I got it, live on camera. <laughs> Did you guys just see that? I clicked on it, it was set 4 p.m. And by the time it got to the next screen, it switched the time to 5.15 to 6.15. So like, I, that's what I mean. I know a lot of people are like, oh yeah, Genie Plus is easy as long as you know how to use it. But like, I'm just trying to get on a, I'm just trying to skip the line. I'm just trying to pay to skip the line. I, I feel like it should just be a little bit more convenient. But I mean, we do what we love. <laughs> But don't you worry, I just kept on it and look at that. I was eventually able to pull a 205 Tower of Terror. And that's only uh, 30 minutes from now. So look at that, I did pretty good. I got a little scared there when it did the switcheroo on me. 
getting Tower of Terror was a success because that's like one of my favorite rides and I honestly know people that will come to this park just to ride Tower of Terror. Like that's like, that's it. That's like their big deck. They love Hollywood Studios or MGM Studios that much that it's just Tower of Terror and then nothing else. So we got that to look forward to now. I think I want to grab maybe a, a coffee, maybe something, a, a little snack, a little snacky. <laughs> I can't wait for the day that we're going to be able to see Voyage of the Little Mermaid again. This attraction still closed and never opened back up after the pandemic. Oh, look at Chip and Dale. Where are they going with that basket? Are they, are they gonna go get some pressed pennies actually? I love when you see characters actually just walking around the park, roaming and interacting with just, <laughs> like this is great, look at this. Somebody get them a dollar. Now I found out what was in that picnic basket. <laughs> This is great. This is like, this is the best entertainment in the park right now. <laughs> the Voyage of the Little Mermaid uh, has already been announced. It's getting replaced and reimagined with the Little Mermaid musical adventure. So they're just basically retheming it. And I don't know if they're taking away certain aspects of the show. I kind of feel like they might, but I'm sure there's going to be some cool puppets still in there. And it's set to open in fall 2024. So uh, that's something we have to look forward to. I feel like that's like one of the only things that hasn't opened back up yet. I mean, they have uh, Pixar, uh, like uh, Toy Story, uh, Incredibles Courtyard all open up. That was closed for a while. And uh, yeah, I mean, the only thing left is probably down by Pizza Rizzo, that little uh, merchandise location that used to be for Nightmare Before Christmas. It's the only thing that hasn't opened, I think. I might be picking the worst place to come get a cup of coffee, but uh, they have a special pizza cookie at Pizza Rizzo, and I want to go try it. So we're going to get a cookie and coffee and Pizza Rizzo. If we're lucky, we actually might be able to go upstairs and eat our cookie and drink our coffee in the wedding reception area where they're having a wedding reception. <sighs> a lot of people knock Pizza Rizzo, but I kind of like it. And I love the uh, like dining location. This place is so cool. And there's a special area upstairs I hope I can show you. But first, we got to get that cookie. Let's go get that cookie. I'm still gonna go upstairs and see if uh, the little uh, reception area is open, but I wanted to come outside and show you this cookie because this deserves some recognition here. Because at first I thought this was just a regular old frosted like icing cookie, but this is much more. This is literally a pizza cookie. And look, that's like raspberry jelly. This is all layered and then put on top of there. Those are all toppings and they even have a little candy hidden Mickey as a pepperoni. Like, I think this is gonna be a great cookie. And also, I can see it's like a little bit like flaky, like the cookie type. And uh, yeah, I'm excited. I don't know if I'm cheesy or brilliant, but I'm gonna cut my pizza cookie like it's a pizza pie and eat it by the slice, if it's possible. <laughs> I just want a slice of my cookie, that's all. It's a pizza pie, a pizza pizza, a pizza, a pizza pizza. Here we go. This cookie is definitely better than like the standard Disney cookie. You can tell there's actually some artwork in it. Like I said, I don't like just regular cookies with a decorative topping. I like that they actually put some thought into this. So I like it. It's a good cookie. When I cut the cookie, the jelly or the jam actually started running off. I wish the uh, white chocolate like uh, frosting or topping was a little bit runny, kind of like cheese so it would stretch out. I think that would have been so cool, but probably a little hard to meet, but they did what they could. And like I said, I, I think this is a good cookie. Enough of the cookie business now. Let's go see if the upstairs is open so we can be a little fancy. Maybe I'll dance a little bit. <laughs> if it's not open, they'll have that little chain uh, like uh, guard in front of it so nobody can walk up these steps. But on busy days, they actually open this up so that people can uh, sit up here. Because, you know, it's, it's very crowded downstairs. I know I pointed out this area in the past before, but there's so many new people sometimes watching the video, so I always like to kind of go back and point out things that, you know, some people might have missed that I think are really cool that you don't want to miss if you ever come visit Disney. 
the upstairs dining area is almost just like the downstairs dining area except for over here in this beautiful room where somebody got married look at this join us for the wedding reception of gil and lil daughter of will and jill son of phil and bill and look how fun and fancy it is in here they got a little disco ball they got a dance floor and you can just come up here and eat your pizza or your pizza cookie in the past i remember there were times where i could come up here and there would be nobody in here like it would just be you and the music and the dance floor and uh you can let loose i wish i could maybe i could find some of those videos because i posted youtube videos about it but now uh like i said a lot of people are dining up here because it's a busy day so they opened it up and uh yeah it's really cool it's a very good spot to come sit and it's like i said it's a little bit crowded but it's not that crowded it's a great escape from what is downstairs and I love this wallpaper too. Oh, look at that. Very fancy. My mom would have stuff like this in her kitchen. Now it's all apples. I don't know what my mom's got going on with apples, but my whole kitchen is apples. It just feels fancy. It just, it feels glamorous. Look at that. <laughs> We're right in between a song change. <gasps> it's a slow dance. Okay, well, that was an emotional slow dance with a hot Italian sausage, and uh, I'm okay with that. I like the fact that when the slow music came on, the uh, disco ball actually slowed down. Look at that. It got all quiet. It's just about that time for Tower of Terror, so we're going to make our way down Sunset. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get more out of the Genie Plus. As soon as I touch uh, at the Lightning Lane, uh, I'm gonna try to book another one as fast as possible. And hopefully it's something good, you know? Look at these high traffic areas. It's almost like you can't walk through here. Holy moly. Huh? Bob and weave, bob and weave, tuck and weave. Hoo, ha, hoo, ha, ha. I really don't mind when it's crowded like yeah sure I wish it was less busy but I mean there's a lot of times where I come to the parks I don't even ride rides I just like hanging out here I just like being here listening to the music and walking around so like just being able to ride rides is just an added like bonus but like if I couldn't ride any rides I would still come here like if I could no longer ride rides I probably would still love Disney as much as I do now it's not it's crazy I really believe it's the music that draws me to love Hollywood Studios so much. Just walking around with this music with my coffee. Do, 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 do. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get another lightning lane after this. Like, I know the park is busy on the weekends, but this seems like extra busy. And at first I thought, did the show just get out? Like, is the show getting out? But no. Because this is not the way the show exits. There are a lot of people redeeming their lightning lane right now. I feel like even though we did get the lightning lane, we might have to wait a little bit. This is a popular attraction and Rock and Roller Coaster is actually closed at the moment. Oh. Ah, boom. There wasn't a wait at all, actually. Look at it, it's so nice and toasty in here. I might take my sweater off. <laughs> Look at all those cobwebs up there. Honestly, I can feel the heat blowing on the inside in here. It feels, like I said, nice and warm and toasty. I could stay in here all day. Guys, just hear that ghost talking.
was one of the best tower rides I've ever been on. The lights came on. It was well lit when we walked, like when we pulled into the shaft. Wow, I liked it. I didn't even know how to react. I, I grabbed my phone. I was like, I don't know what to do. There was so much happening, but that was a great ride. I hope it all came out great on film, but oh, I love it when that happens. I was lucky enough to grab a lightning lane for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway when I was uh, in the queue for Tower of Terror. So we're going to make our way over there, but I want to stop into the stores because I'm looking for this really cool sweater I want to get. I want to get a new sweater. It's sweater weather. Sweater weather. It's this really cool uh, like Mickey and Friends sweater and uh, it has like a collar. I don't know what you call those things, uh, but it's really retro and it's blue and it has like think pinstripes and I've been looking everywhere for it, but I can't find it. Maybe Lumiere knows where it's at. Excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Do you know where the sweater I require is? He said, try the fancier store, and I'm glad he did, because I actually like some of these. Look at this. That's actually really, really nice. I love this style. Same thing with this one. Wow. Wow. That is such a good sweater. How much are these? $44.99. No joke. I mean, it's not spirit jersey. This is like Mickey's or Disney's version of spirit jersey, but it does look really cool. I'm just not too sure how they'll hold up in a washer. This one is uh, $59.99, but still very nice, feels good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind it. And then look at these over here. Wow, they're getting really good with the apparel here. The design is outstanding, I like it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, but I like that, I don't know if they got anything over here. No, no, just still the same thing, fancy. All of those designs are really cool, but not our dino. I'll let you guys know when I spot it. I'll show you. Well, I'll buy it, hopefully. Maybe I can pull a picture up, but it's just a, it's a unique design that I like a lot. I just can't find it anywhere in the parks. Wow, I'm lucky we got a lightning lane because the wait for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Hey, how are ya? Hey! <laughs> yeah, nice! But yeah, look at uh, the wait actually right here. As my buddy's walking by, I just ran into them earlier. But look at the, uh, the, the line, looks like it's probably over 100 minutes. There's a lot of people in there. So, oh my lord, look at all the people going to Lightning Lane. We gotta get over there. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the Chinese theater looking more like the real Chinese theater in Hollywood than this. Look at this. It really does look like we're there. <laughs> We might have made a mistake on this one because I've been here for like 30 minutes already in the lightning lane. 30 minutes is a long time. I'm afraid we might have, we might have uh, made a big mistake. Here comes our runaway train. Testing, testing.
unfortunately that was a big mistake on my part because uh, the point of getting Genie Plus was so that we can get more rides done in a short like period of time because I have to be somewhere in a little bit uh, but uh, yeah that really took up a big chunk of my time even though I still got the lightning lane you know what I mean so now I'm gonna see if I can get one more ride in or I'd love to get a snack you know I want to mind a nice little snack huh I decided to maybe make my way through Star Wars land and over to Toy Story land. Look how busy it is though in here. I, I feel like I'm saying that a lot in this video. Hey, how are you? Having a good day? We're going to make our way into Toy Story land. I want to see how busy it is over there. And maybe the wait times might not be as long as they uh, say they are. Like, you know, you never know. You might be able to catch a low wait time over at Alien Swirling Saucers or over at uh, uh, Toy Story Midway Mania. So we're going to go check out and see if we can get lucky, you know? Wow, this is the first time I'm actually seeing the Mandalorian out and about in the parks. <laughs> Look at that. If you ever eat trash and chowder, hold the cephalopod by the tentacles. It'll latch on while you swallow and bite while it pulls itself out. Happy travels. This is the way. Good luck. Hey, Teddy. Just leave it. Bye. Oh, goodbye. I'll never forget you. <laughs> I honestly have never seen the Mandalorian out and about here at Hollywood Studios. Even though I come so often, he just like dops out and then goes back in. I didn't want to get a picture or anything like that. It was just cool seeing him interact and seeing Grogu like move around. That was really cool. I'm happy I caught that. Oh, I'm just sitting over here modifying on my Disney Experience app trying to get a lower uh, lightning lane time. How many, how many other people just sit here and do this a lot? You select one, and then you just wait to see a good one pop up. I keep looking, no Slinky. I need Slinky. I really wish we could ride Slinky Dog Dash today, but it's a 130 minute wait, and there hasn't been a lightning lane available all day, but can you just imagine? Oh, just to be at this part right here. Hang on. <laughs> and there they go off into the sun this is actually beautiful looking right now I don't know. I think I'm just going to throw in the flag here, guys. <sighs> I mean, I'm not defeated. I still had a fun day, but I don't think we're going to do much that we could do. I mean, we could watch a lot of shows. We could do that. Woody and Jesse are over there. But this is a lot of people. I am not a fan of Genie Plus, but it's not because I have to pay for it. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people don't like it because Fast Pass used to be free, uh, but I think Genie Plus, it just doesn't work. Like, it doesn't work. The app never works, and if you pay money, I feel like you should be able to be able to ride a ride. Now, I still think it's very affordable because I've been to so many theme parks. Like, if I go to Universal Studios, it'll cost me like $220 to, uh, like, skip the lines. Uh, but I would be guaranteed to actually get on those rides here you really don't know unless you plan it you wake up super early you have to be very well like on it and you have to be educated on it it's not like anybody can just come in I still don't know so that's why I don't like it I just don't think it's just user friendly and I don't think it works and it's not worth value it's so cold out they have hats and gloves for people to buy so they can warm up look at this I wonder how much they are I bet you they're probably like at least ten dollars you know what i think i'm gonna get some gloves i need my hands to warm up one thing i can't stand is having cold hands and if i can get a pair of gloves to keep my hands warm believe me i'm gonna do it the only thing is it's gonna be hard to kind of like record and make videos especially when i have the gloves on because i can't touch the screen you know but i should be good to go now yeah, no more cold hands. <laughs> hey 
friends. <laughs> Hey, how are ya? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh, I think this is actually the greatest thing ever. <laughs> I hope I don't look ridiculous walking around with these gloves on. <laughs> I've always wanted to get these gloves. They're only $24.99. Look at that, it fits so good. Well, I think me and my gloves are gonna have to maybe just call it quits on the day. It's a little bit too busy, but we'll try again another. Uh, maybe I can't wait to go home and see Gracie and see what she thinks. I wonder what she's gonna think about my gloves. I hope she doesn't think they're like chew toys because I remember I got her a dog toy that was like Mickey's hand before. So she probably would eat these in a second. Better not show her, maybe I should. Eee! Gracie! Oh, there she is! Oh, yes! Oh, he's a good girl! Oh, what? What? You like it? Oh, <laughs> yes! She likes it! Oh, it's not a toy! It's not a toy! <laughs> oh, what? What, you like it? Huh? Gracie really loves these gloves. I think she thinks they're a toy and she wants me to give them to her. And uh, I, I thought it'd be funny if I put like a little cookie inside here. See if she gets excited for it. <gasps> she smells it. It's in there. It's in the glove. It's in here. Yeah, now that she got the cookie, maybe she's comfortable enough putting the gloves on herself. Yeah, let me see this little pity paw. Let me see this little pity paw. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And with that, I think we are done here today. Gracie likes the gloves. I think she's gonna try to take them and make them into her new favorite toy. So if I wanna, you know, treasure these, I better hide them. <laughs> she has a lot of toys and I don't like getting rid of her toys until she's completely like destroyed them because like, you know, she has a laundry basket full of like uh, toys and every once in a while she'll dig in there and pull out like a toy from like four years ago and then all of a sudden that toy will be her new favorite toy again for like a month. So like I don't want to get rid of any of them and uh, she gets very particular so when she has her eyes on something. Yeah, she's gonna be looking for these. Uh, but yeah, anywho, I had a great day at Hollywood Studios. Now, I wish I got to do more with the Genie Plus, but uh, like I said, I'm you know not a big fan of Genie Plus, and uh, you know it's just something it's something you have to deal with now. You know what I mean? I don't think it's going away or anything like that. And uh, you know I just wish it was a little bit more easier and more common. Like if you pay for a uh, lightning lane service, then I feel like you should just be able to do it, like at uh, the other parks. Now, they are more expensive. That's why Genie Plus costs $22, and the Fast Pass at Universal is $222. Uh, but I still think that they should come up with a new system. Uh, and also, I'm excited because I have a lot of great things coming up. Uh, I know that I have Megacon uh, in Orlando, February 3rd. Right here in Orlando, I'm gonna be having a little meet and greet uh, at the uh, convention center on International Drive at the Roosevelt's booth. I'll be there from uh, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. and uh, I'm just gonna be hanging out so anybody can come by and say hi. Right here in Orlando, I never got to do this in Orlando like with like a full announcement and an exact time, so this is gonna be really cool. Uh, I hope to see a lot of people out there. You know, it always amazes me that you know so many people watch the videos because I'm just sitting here at my house alone and like I know like when a video goes up and there's so many of you guys that watch it but it, like you see the numbers but until you actually meet people it's not real and then when I get to meet people it's so exciting and I'm so happy because it's not like I, I ever thought something like that would happen so I'm excited to see uh, what Orlando so if you guys are here February 3rd, February 3rd, uh, Saturday I think it is, uh, at Megacon Orlando. 
Orlando on International Drive, I'll be there. Come say hi. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Bye! I also look like Sonic. Whoa.